The Draeger X zone, and the, paired with the Draeger XAM 5000, the same manufacturer that makes Draeger tubes, can now take safety to another level. You can put it into an area where you know you have bad gases and you can leave it in there. It's no longer a person carrying a bird cage with a canary in there to see if the canary is going to live or not. It's just putting the device in there that's going to wirelessly communicate back to another area that's a safer area and be able to allow the personnel to tell what's going on and when to get out of there when you got some bad things happening. This device right here is the brains that goes into the Draeger X zone. These devices have been out for many years. The, this portable type device has a clip on the back of it that you can use. It's called an alligator clip. You can strap it to your belt or to your shirt or collar or something like that to be able to make it completely portable and strapped to your hip or side to be a gas detection device of that nature. And then what you do is you take this device and you put it into the Draeger X zone like so and changes this into a wireless device talking to other X zone units and also makes it into a alarm for that area that will also flash and sound a horn up to 120 decibels. So this device, what you do is you have the Draeger XAM 5000 turned off. This device right here, one button turns it on, two buttons turn it off. You take the XAM 5000 and place it into here. On the bottom of it, it has charging uh, ports that charge it continuously when it's installed in this unit. The way it communicates is with the IR port right here at the top of this and on the top of the X zone. You place it in there like so. Put this cap on it. And then again, one button, button turns it on, two buttons turn it off. Okay, we're gonna show you how to set up an Exxon. First of all, we have the Exxon 5000 unit. I'm gonna remove the uh, face plate. And you see the control panel here. We wanna turn it on to the standby mode by pressing the green button for about three to four seconds until the green LED lights up. As you can see, the LED is now lit up. So the next thing you wanna do is place the XAM 5000 in the slot. Replace the pump plate, lock it down with the three locking screws. And then we want to turn on the XAM 5000 by holding the green button again for about three to five seconds. Okay, it's now cut on. You can see the lights flashing on the uh, XO. You hear it beeping. It now has an installed pump and it wants to me to perform a leak test on the pump. So I just cover the leak of uh, the uh, pump cover here until I get a steady tone and then I release. And now it's up and running. So I just pick up the X zone and I take it to wherever I want to place it and set it down. And then I look at the green lights. I have other X zones placed around the uh, parking lot. And it, the green light is on it tells me that it is now connected with the other X zones. And the third green light is on to tell me that the pump is now running. So what we will do next is test them out to see if they're all connected and if they were all alarmed. I will do that by pressing the green button three times. We should have a three alarm. 